Hallelujah. My apologies. I I had no idea that you were not support. You were not able to hear me. Uh, kindly indicate if you can hear me now. Kindly indicate if you can hear me. For those of you that are logging in, kindly indicate if you can hear me. Um, majority of you were indicating that you cannot hear me. So I don't know from, at, from what point were you not able to hear me. Kindly indicate if you can hear me now. Okay, from London Bridge. Now you can hear me. All right, that's wonderful. Okay, let's just uh, wait five more minutes for others to log in so that they can hear. Uh, two minutes, two minutes for others to log in. I'm almost done uh, with the prophetic word. Uh, really done, done. But yeah, we're almost there. Hallelujah. So now everyone can hear me. That's wonderful. I have no idea what caused uh, the muting. Yes, now everyone can hear me. That's wonderful. Uh, those that get to log in and a little bit later, you'll just have to go back to where we started. And now that uh, the word is divided into two, you shouldn't find it hard to locate where um, you didn't hear me so the last thing you heard was about london bridge yes all right the next thing the lord said the word of the lord reads he said understand it's a very important word he said understand i have zero tolerance for blasphemy zero tolerance for blasphemy hallelujah he said, the only way to escape my wrath concerning blasphemy is to repent. Failure to repent. Judgment is death. Hallelujah. Failure to repent. Judgment is death. And we've been seeing a lot of blasphemy, especially from the entertainment industry. We've been seeing a lot of blasphemy. The Lord is saying, now that we are in a season of judgment, we need to understand that failure to repent. That's why we need to pray for these individuals. I remember God giving a word in when we were going into the year 2021, where I was giving a prophetic word uh, for the new year that we were entering. There's a word he gave concerning celebrities, even in the United States of America, your Beyonce, your uh, Rihanna, uh, Adrian, uh, Michelle, so, so on and so forth. So some of them are involved in blasphemy. And the Lord is saying failure for them to repent. And they're not the only ones. There are so many uh, artists, even movies. You know, people being used in entertainment to insult God and, you know, to say all sorts of things against the Son of God. And the Lord is saying, the time of judgment has come for these things. And failure to repent, judgment, will be death. The judgment for blasphemy is death. Hallelujah. So we need to be in prayer for these individuals. He continues to say, it's a narrow path. It's a narrow path very very narrow it remains narrow from time to time why is it narrow you say why to keep out all deception deception is full of options my way has no options my way is my way hallelujah hallelujah are we together so far? Kebona listen to Le Kwalaka London Bridge. You didn't hear properly concerning the London Bridge. I'll get back to it when I'm done with the rest of the word. Just continue to listen, beloveds. 
Hallelujah. He continues to say, the biggest deception of the enemy is to make you believe you have options outside my will. You have no options outside my will, little ones. My will is my way. My way is my will. Do we get that? I'm going to repeat that for some of you. This is a very important part. As a believer, it sums up your journey and you need to understand it very, very clearly. Hallelujah. He says, it's a narrow path. It's a narrow path. Very, very narrow. Remains narrow from time to time. Why is it narrow, you say? Why? To keep out all deception. Deception is full of options. My way has no options. My way is my, my will is my way. The biggest deception of the enemy is to make you believe you have options outside my will. You have no options outside my will, little ones. My will is my way. My way is my will. Hallelujah. He goes on to say, loan sharks drown, drown, drown. We are about to see the financial uh, holdings that the Lord mentioned for judgment. We are about to see the, the work of the Lord in the season. Hallelujah. We are about to see the manifestation of the judgment of the Lord over loan sharks. And the Lord said, do not just think of uh, cash loans when it comes to loan sharks. Even bigger financial corporations, the Lord considers them loan sharks. He said in this season, he is going to be dealing with them. Hallelujah. They drown in this season. Hallelujah. Cons he continues to say, the whole earth is officially under. This is a very important word. It gives you an understanding of what time it is. Please pay attention. He said, the whole earth is officially now under the direct influence of the supernatural. Supernatural entities, good or bad, are here now. Please pay attention, beloveds. That is why I said, do not just go anywhere in this season. Especially, especially festivals, talehats. These are altars, beloveds. These are altars. Every stage is an altar. Hallelujah. stage. In the house of the Lord, we call them what they are. It's an altar. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying, and I saw them. Remember the other time I told you I had a vision. I went outside and when I looked up, it wasn't just the sky. I was seeing watchers looking down at us. The Lord is saying, supernatural entities are here now. Remember there was a time where he said, the membrane between the physical realm and the spiritual realm is thin. And then he said, it's thinning out until it's no more because it's a time of fullness. And both Light and darkness is coming in full strength. Hallelujah. That is why they want to release what this, this virus they are calling zombie virus. Zombie virus is literally just where a demon completely takes you over. Hallelujah. The person is not there anymore. You are completely being controlled by fallen entities. And they can cause you to do whatever they, they are in full control of your your body or your vessel and they can do whatever they want to do with your vessel now as a child of god the only way you will not be killed by demons using someone because remember they've been fighting you in the spirit realm they hate you so now that they'll be taking over humanity fully if he wants to kill you and there's nothing to stop him he'll just come for you through that individual that is what happened during World War II. That is what happened during the time of Hitler. Those individuals were being used. Satan had taken over fully. That's why they did what they did. Hallelujah. So the Lord is saying, you equally need the same level of light. That's why the Lord is saying, you need to allow me to take you over completely. 
Because the only one they fear is me. They don't fear you. They want to kill you. But they fear the Lord. They have no choice but to bow to him. They can't touch him. That's why he said it's time. You cannot afford to just have, you know, to enter the river of life with just your feet. And I've spoken about what that means. Where he said, little ones, you can no longer be on the shallow side of the river of life. The river of life represents the spirit. When Ezekiel was talking about these things, he was talking about the different levels. As he was going deeper and deeper into the river of life, he was talking about it was a reality of walking in the fullness of the spirit. Or how much of the spirit has taken you over. Hallelujah. And by the time you are fully submerged is when the Spirit of God has completely or officially taken you over. And that means it is now God working through you entirely. God, just God working through you. This miracle light I'm always talking about. This is how much the Spirit of God is being given allowance to control. How much control have you given him over your life? That you can gauge or you can weigh that according to how much you are willing to follow instructions. It all always, always boils down to instructions. Always. So don't even think about it in a complicated way. Oh, how am I going to get to that place where the Spirit of God has fully taken me over? When you follow instructions. Because remember, the one that decides what to do is the one that is in control. Satan can come in and do whatever he wants with you and your life. God is saying, surrender. In this season, surrender the fullness of your life into my hands. You have no idea what the hell is releasing. Surrender into my hands. My capable heads, according to me as God, Satan can do nothing. When you are in me, he cannot touch you. He may envy you. He may wish to touch you, but he will not be able to touch you. He will roar and cause a ruckus and do whatever he wants to do, but he will not be able to touch you when you have submitted to me your life. When I tell you move, you move. When I tell you be still, you are still. When I tell you speak, you speak. When I tell you be quiet, you are quiet. When I tell you to do something, you do it. When I tell you not to do it, you don't do it. That is how you release the full strength of the miracle light of God, which is what the fullness of the spirit of God to take you over. That is how you come under the wings of protection of the most high God. Hallelujah. He continues to say, watch out for this word. Listen very carefully. Some of these things are not going to logically make sense, but you need to understand the time we've entered. Hallelujah. That is why you need to move by the spirit because God is going to be giving us certain codes, certain things we need to, you need to understand both camps work by coding. They work by codes. That is why even when it comes to dark fashion, have you noticed how with every year, there's what they release that people are supposed to wear. There's a trend that is released. Sometimes you will see military green, for example, or camouflage. And suddenly everyone is wearing camouflage. It starts with celebrities. And then because they are the influencers, they put it on celebrities to release that to the rest of humanity because they know you are not going to listen to God for what you should wear. You look to the world for what to wear. You look to Kim for what to wear. You look to Beyonce for what to wear. You look to Rihanna for what to wear. You look to whoever. So they use those people. That's why they, 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 they are the faces of their clothes and their brands. They use them to get you to want to wear what they're wearing. But what is actually happening behind the scenes, which you don't know, and now I'm glad that everything is coming out on the open. You've seen uh, the current scandal with Balenciaga, and that is just the beginning. They're not the only ones. I remember God spoke about almost every fashion house that he's drowning it in this season. He is taking away, he's stripping them, he is shutting it down. Your household... Uh, names when it comes to brands, majority of them are cults, 
and God is dealing with them in this season. And majority of you wear them with what? In ignorance, thinking, because, you know, this is an expensive brand. When people see me wearing this, they will think of me in this particular manner. The Lord said, even your identity, you've been robbed of your identity. Because you don't even think you are worthy or you are someone of any stature outside these names or outside these brands. Such that you don't, if you were to really wear what you like, you would feel like, People will not see you or people will not consider you. That is an identity crisis. A serious identity crisis which God is going to be dealing with in this season. Hallelujah. Majority of them are cults. And everything is going to be coming forth in this season. I remember the Lord saying, the only one that he will spare, the one that he spoke to me uh, clearly that he will spare is Tom Ford. I don't know for, for whatever reason. Maybe they... There's a level of integrity to how they do business. Uh, but he said the one that he will spare, that will survive what is about to hit the fashion industry is Tom Ford. Hallelujah. And I remember the Lord giving a word to certain uh, individuals in our nation that are into the fashion industry. That he desires to uplift them. He desires to give them some of the favor that was upon some of these uh, international brands. But majority of them have not heeded and have not responded to the invitation of the Lord. And you need to understand something. When you don't respond to the invitation of the Lord, God will choose another and give them that which he had desired to give you. Because you were not what? You were not wise enough to humble yourself to the word of the Lord. So I pray for those individuals that they will be able to hearken to the voice of it. Because if they knew what God wants to release upon them, they would understand that whatever that they are doing now is nothing compared to what God wants to do with them. Hallelujah. So it's a time of reckoning and it's a time of what? Allowing ourselves to be humbled before our God that he may exalt us and he may do with our lives what he wants to do with them. So the Lord says, pray. Watch out for the serpentine, for this word. And then he said, serpentine code. For this hour then he said this code is the word slick s l double e k slick now you are about to be schooled in a very practical manner on some of the the workings of the spirit realm you see when the enemy gets ready to do something he has to give it a code hallelujah and for people that are not uh discerning they will not be able to see the workings of the agents of darkness. So the agents of darkness are given codes. They may be given fashion codes. Uh, maybe they want to do something concerning humanity. They want to infiltrate humanity with the, uh, the army of darkness. And maybe even a, a time of a trend of what uh, camouflage, for example, or military green. And everybody suddenly is just wearing military green. Everybody suddenly wearing uh, gloves or everybody suddenly uh, wearing some. And usually, usually, listen to me very carefully. Usually the enemy is always doing a counterfeit of what the Lord is doing. But with the enemy, it's always going to be dark. It's always going to be, you know, uh, immoral. Hallelujah. So he's always doing something that is what a counterfeit of what the Lord is doing. And because he's doing the dark side of what God is doing, what he's going to be doing is going to be resulting in the opposite. Or when people do it according to the enemy's ways, it's going to bring about the opposite results of what is happening in the camp of light. So he said the word, the code of the enemy in this time is the word slick. He said, watch out for this word. Some of you, there may be some individuals that are going to come into your life and you are not sure who they are, what's happening. And maybe during conversation, they, this word will suddenly just pop up. Or maybe when you are about to talk to them or something, this word will just pop up, right? The Lord is saying, look out for that word. It will show you, it will be a sign that I'm giving you that it's a no-go zone. Hallelujah. That is a no-go zone. The word slick will just come up. 
whether in conversation, in writing, in however way, but the Spirit of God will be able to remind you of this word and you'll be able to know what time it is. And the number I saw associated with this code of the enemy in this hour is the number 212. 212. Hallelujah. And I know that there is a perfume. That, that's the first thing that came to my mind. I remembered that there is a perfume by the name 212. Hallelujah. So watch out for these things in this time. If you are a man and you love this perfume, I advise you. You see, we're in a time where you cannot afford to take chances. Some of these things, like I said, the instructions, we have already entered. Instructions that don't make sense, but you just have to follow. Hallelujah. If you are a man and you are using this cologne, 212, please pray about it. Pray about it. You love the scent or you spent so much money on it and whatnot. Just follow the instructions. One of the things the Lord said about this season, he said, it's better to be safe than sorry. It's better to overthink than be sorry. Hallelujah. He said, watch out for the word slick. Watch out for 212. Hallelujah. And when he said 212, he reminded me in 20, was it 2019? Yes, it was 2019, early 2019. The Lord instructed me to go on a, a, a fast that was 121 days. And I'm just going to read for you. You get to see the connection between these things. Hallelujah. This is literally, your life will literally be on the line concerning these things that God is pointing out in this season. God wants to save somebody. Hallelujah. So when he gave me the instruction to go on a, uh, a fast for 121 days, he said, read the message. Or he said, what I'm going to be doing through this fast is found in Psalm 121. So it was a fast for 121 days. And then he said, I'm establishing Psalm 121 in your life and in the lives of those that are going to be connected to you. So I'm just, it's a very short chapter. I'm just going to read it out for you. Psalm 121. Hallelujah. It says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. Hallelujah. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in. For this time forth and even forevermore. Hallelujah. Obedience is very, very important, beloveds. It's very, very important. I cannot stress that enough. You know, for people who were around my life at that time, there were so many questions. And I knew that they were asking themselves a lot of questions and a lot of things didn't make sense to them. Uh, you should have seen me. I was always just skin and bones. But I knew and I understood. God is do I may not have the full understanding of what God is doing, but I know that this is important for whatever is coming in the future. And now we get to see the unfolding of everything and how God had us prepare well in time for whatever the enemy was to do in the sun. So when he said slick and then he said 212, he said, remember, I made you fast for 121 days. And then he said, what is the common denominator in both these numbers? Is the number one and the number two, and also the number 12. Because in 212, you get 12, and then in 121, you get 12. Hallelujah. But 
in this one yeah two one two you can see that the enemy this was a what is a counterfeit of what the lord is doing so because it's the opposite or a counterfeit of what the number that gets to keep you remember the one that god gave me the number two is the one that is what is encapsulated by the number one and the number one on the other side but with two one two Two is outside, two is outside, and one is inside. So it is the opposite of what God said, which means everything that the Lord is saying here, when you are here and you are following him or when you are in his camp, this is what you are going to be experiencing, what I just read out for you. But if you are outside, the enemy has released two, one, two, which is the opposite. That means when God wants to keep you, the enemy wants to kill you. Hallelujah. When God is preserving your soul, the enemy wants to what? He wants to take your soul. So everything that is has been promised in, two, in Psalm 121, the enemy in this time is releasing the opposite of what God has promised. Hallelujah. Oh my God. And just look at that. Look at that, that prophetic confirmation. Uh, somebody wrote, wrote there that it is today it is the 12th of the 12th month you see that nothing is by coincidence and i remember this morning i was tempted to continue the word that we started off but the holy spirit just kept on saying share the prophetic word today share the prophetic word today so there's your confirmation as well beloveds so this number 12 is very very significant in this time because in both camps this number is very very significant but for different reasons for different reasons hallelujah but luckily for those that are in the camp of god and you see you know as as servants of god sometimes we are instructed to do things that are not only for us alone so don't give us a hard time you are the people to pray for us don't give us a hard time and i'm saying this from the bottom of my heart we can be given a hard time by the world, but don't be the people to give us a hard time. It's for you. It's for you. Everything that we do is meant to cover me and you. It's not for me alone. It's for you. Our lives are different. Yes, our lives, you can never understand them. Yes. Because we move by the Spirit. We have to move by the Spirit in its entirety. So majority of the time, God is going to do things through our lives that you will not understand. But as long as you have prayed and you know that this is God, or this woman moves by the Spirit of God, the weird things that you don't understand, leave them alone. That's for me and God. Leave it alone. As long as you have the revelation that it is God, it's enough. Understand it's for you. Hallelujah. So when we have your support, we are able to do even the things that are very difficult to do because we understand there are other people, their lives are also at stake. Whatever God is doing for you, he's also doing it for other people. Hallelujah. So you don't even have to do those long fasts because somebody has, to be, has been given that instruction to do it on behalf of everybody else. Those are some of the things that come with leadership as a servant of God. You have to be able to put yourself in a place where God can do for others what they would otherwise fail to do for themselves. Hallelujah. My life is a, is a very... Don't ever try to understand my life. Especially in the season that we, have coming, we are coming into. Don't try to understand. Don't try to comprehend. Don't try to think you understand what God is doing in my life. Or oh, this is the, the, the assignment. Or oh, this is this. This is that. Just go with the flow and understand that what God is doing in this season cannot be understood in its entirety because many lives are at stake. And anytime the, the, the price is high, you need to understand that God comes in a way that is not easily detectable because he's dealing with familiar spirits. And God cannot afford. Sometimes God will have to even put you in the dark. Why? Because God wants to save you. And your opinion doesn't mean more than him. Him wanting to save you is of more importance than your opinion. And those are some of the things God had to deliver me from. To understand the assignment upon your life you cannot afford 
to care about people's opinions. I had to die to the expectations of men and the opinions of men for me to be able to carry out my assignment. The same thing applies to you. Don't try to make everyone happy. Understand that whatever instructions God is giving you are meant to save lives, are meant to save your life. Mary understood. Me carrying the Son of God is it, it's it's a very risky thing. I can even lose my fiance, but I have to trust the God that has called me to carry this baby that is going to save the world and understand and trust that the same God that came to me and did this will give my fiance an answer of truth so that he may know that I don't get it, but this is God. So I'm going to not I'm going to stick by this woman because I know this is of God. Hallelujah. So pay attention to that number. 212 and pay attention to the nap to the to the uh word slick god is saying it's a serpentine code in this times to snuff away lives hallelujah remember i said god is releasing destiny help us but the enemy is also releasing counterfeit destiny help us but god will be able to help you to smell them from afar they're going to just find themselves associating with these things because that is the, the, the promise God gave you to say, this is how you will know. Hallelujah. He continues to say, pray for capacity to understand supernatural realities. For I shall move fast. I shall move fast. Hallelujah. And anytime the Lord says that, you need to understand that you have to also be looking out for that even here in this ministry that's why you are seeing that we are moving very very quickly that is why i'm always encouraging you to read to listen to the word when it's being given so that it doesn't pile up and then you end up not being able to listen to all of it because in everything that we share there's something that you need. There's a deposit that God is making. Even as I'm speaking now, there is a deposit that God is making. He's constantly enveloping you and making you more and more fortified. Or the walls of protection over your life are being fortified with every word that is being shared. Nothing is ever by chance and nothing is ever of no consequence. You need to understand that. You need the fullness of what God is dishing out in this time for you to be victorious from that which the enemy is doing. He continues to say, pray for capacity to understand supernatural realities, for I shall move fast. I shall move fast. Pay attention to my spirit. Do not try to understand naturally that which I speak. Believe my spirit. Hallelujah. He continues to say, you have heard of my saving capacity. Hallelujah. Now you get to see me in action. Rock of all ages. Rock of all ages. Be anchored on the word. Be anchored on the rock. Be anchored and live. Live. Hallelujah. He continues to say, dogs will bark, but my word will still be performed. Dogs will bark. This one requires for you to think. It's, 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 it's a parable. Hallelujah. But those with ears to hear will hear the word of the Lord. He said, dogs will bark, but my spirit will still be, my will will still be performed. Dogs will bark. Do not mind the barking of dogs. My word shall still be performed. Hallelujah. He goes on to say, there will be a false alarm of the spreading of breast cancer. There will be a false alarm of the spreading of breast cancer. He says, not all lumps are due to cancer. There will be a false alarm to corner many. And I was seeing uh, a counterfeit uh, cure for cancer being uh, promoted in a major major way and so there was a lot of a false alarm concerning breast cancer so that people were what people would just panic and then they would just take this uh counterfeit cure 
Remember what the Lord said, the cure for cancer is going to come from a plant, from a flower plant. Yes, along those lines, he said it's going to come from a plant. So anything else is not the cure. Anything else is coming with what? With side effects are going to cause something bigger and greater in your body. And the Lord is saying not all lumps are due to cancer. There's going to be a false alarm. The enemy is going to cause many to believe that they have it, while in actual facts, they don't have it. You just have to trust God in this time, beloveds. When you trust God, you, you seemingly look crazy to the rest of the world. Some of these things, you are going to look in denial. It's going to be as though you are in denial of what is happening. But the Lord says, remember my word in this season. Do not be cornered by the enemy. Hallelujah. He said to deceive many. And then he said, warn them. So this is the warning going forth. He said, there will be a false alarm of the spreading of breast cancer. Not all lumps are due to cancer. There will be a false alarm to corner many, deceive to deceive many, warn them. Hallelujah. He continues to say, suddenly they shall look to Zeus. Suddenly they shall look to Zeus. They shall say in their hearts, perhaps Zeus shall save us. A great sign shall come to show my wrath against those that have turned to Zeus. No other God will save you except the living God. Science will not save you. Buddha will not save you. Muhammad will not save you. Zeus will not save you. Hallelujah. Then he goes on to say, blockchain, I break your chain. Blockchain has to do with cryptocurrency and digital currency. Hallelujah. Remember what the Lord said before about it. He said blockchain will collapse in this season because that is how they want to also introduce digital currency. Hallelujah. The Lord said blockchain, I break your chain. I cut your lifeline. Every chain I shall break, including blockchain. So he went on to expand the word to say, not only am I going to deal with this digital chain but i'm going to deal with every chain the enemy has over your life he said in this season i am breaking every chain every chain i shall break including blockchain the time has come to take vengeance on the killers of gaddafi the time has come to take vengeance on the killers of gaddafi for the killing of gaddafi was the killing of a nation the court of heaven has made a ruling. Now performance starts. Hallelujah. He goes on to say, Lemuel, Lemuel, listen to your mother. Kings, listen to my spirit as it comes through my chosen. Kings, listen to my spirit as it comes through my chosen. Listen, and you will never lack. I shall avail all that you need. Tell them, that is to kings, tell them alcohol is not for kings. Hallelujah. Tell them alcohol is not for kings. Tell them alcohol will disqualify you as a king. Strange women will disqualify you from my favor as a king. Then he goes on to say, lament for nations that have rejected me lament for the nations of darkness on the 12th this is how we conclude the word the lord said we cross over we cross over to the other side we cross over to the other side to the other side cross over to the other side hallelujah he goes on to say timel timel is t i w m e l it means to honor god Hallelujah. The Lord said, honor him in this season. Honor him. And the best way to honor God is to what? Is to follow his instructions. That is the highest level of honor you can give the living God. He goes on to say, cup of fulfillment. Cup of fulfillment. I pour down the cup of fulfillment. Hallelujah. I've spoken about what 
the oil of fulfillment means and what the cup of fulfillment means. And for many of you that have been following this ministry, I've prayed for you to receive your fraction of the, of the oil of fulfillment. This oil enables you to come into the fullness of your true identity and therefore be able to access the fullness of your inheritance. It is from the oil of fulfillment that you are able to walk into the fullness of your destiny and your purpose. And for those of you that are new to this channel and you've never received it, I stretch out my hand and I give it out by the authority invested upon me by God himself, the father of glory himself, who wrote everything concerning your life to say, receive your fraction of the oil of fulfillment that you may be able to walk in the fullness of your destiny and that you may be able to come into the fullness of your inheritance as forgiven by your Father in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. He continues to say, the seed of my light, the seed of my light, the seed of my light, the seed of my light. And then he said, revised. These are the sons of God. You see, when the sons of light come forth, this is God's seed. And he's saying, in this time, we are going to see his seed coming forth. You will no longer hide your identity as a child of God. You are going to come out in the fullness of your true identity. Your light is going to shine forth in this season. You are going to surprise yourself because you are going to stand for the gospel in ways you never thought you would. In the marketplace, in church, you are going to be on fire. Hallelujah. You are going to be able to see in the spirit. You are going to be able to comprehend what the spirit of God is saying. You are going to be able to understand the spiritual realities of the kingdom of light and also know and discern the strategies of darkness that you may be able to overcome them in this season. I speak prophetically over your life to say you will overcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and that which God established in 2019 through Psalm 121. I speak and I stretch forth my hand and I open myself up to say come into the light the favor that was released upon my life by God, the favor of protection, the favor of being kept in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I extend it to you as my brother, as my sister, and I speak the same upon your family, upon your children, that you will be safe in the season, that you will be kept in the season, that the light of God will overcome you. The light of, of, of God will overshadow you in the season, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that you will find yourself in the path of light, whether you like it or not, that you will find yourself following every instruction that God is giving you. Even without understanding, you will follow the Spirit's leading in the season, in the name of Jesus. In places where you have been called, I speak holy fire to come upon you and to ignite you anew in the mighty name of Jesus. Where you have been weary, I pray for you in this time that God will rejuvenate you that you will be replenished by the ministration of the holy angels that have been released in this time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ your eyes of the spirit be opened in the name of Jesus begin to see your life from the lens of God begin to see your life from that which has been written of you in heaven begin to walk in that which has been said of you in heaven in the name of Jesus I pray for you that you will find that which the enemy is offering you in this time detestable in the name of Jesus Christ whatever the enemy may try to tempt you with in this season I pray for you that you will find it detestable in the name of Jesus Christ may your 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 desires only be be for the things of God. Whatever the Spirit of God desires, may you desire it as well. Whatever the Spirit of God hates, may you hate it as well. In the name of Jesus, may you see with the eyes of the Spirit of truth. May only truth access you in this season and all lies, may you repel them in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak the covering of God upon you and your family in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you and I bless you 
for the lives of your children. I speak that which you have established through Psalm 121 over my life and my family. I speak it into their lives and their families in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May your holy fire purge them of everything that is not of you in this season. May everything that is not of God in your life not make it into 2023 in the name of Jesus. May you receive the grace and the favor of God upon entering the new year in the name of Jesus. May you be counted amongst the faithful and true that you may be able to see and experience the outpouring of the abundance of God God from the windows of heaven as they are opened I pray that you'll be located in a place where you'll be able to receive that which God is pouring down as blessing in this season may you escape all manner of judgment in the name of Jesus by adopting a heart of repentance in the mighty name of Jesus may your heart be as contrite as the heart of David in the name of Jesus that in all seasons you will be able to come under the mercies of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ father I thank you for that which you are doing in the lives of your people in this season I pray speedy speedy recovery and for those that have been down and out, I speak recovery in the name of Jesus. I pray for every single one of them, Lord, to supernaturally go, to, to grow in the things of the spirit in this season. To supernaturally come into a place of maturity of the things of the spirit. I pray, Lord, that they will desire you more than they desire the things that come with you in the name of Jesus. I pray that they will pant after you like never before. I pray that they will seek you. They will hunger for you like never before in this season. I pray for focus on every single one of them. May nothing steal their focus from you. Like your word says, looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith. I pray that your faith will not be taken away from the Son of God. In the name of Jesus, from your head to your toe, I speak purging by holy fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you come into the fullness of your true nature in Christ. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. God keep you. Did I finish the word? I just got so uh, caught up in prayer. I, I felt that. I felt the need to pray for you, beloveds. Uh, I, I felt the need to pray for you. And I know that God has released something major. Everything that was spoken in that prayer will come into manifestation in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will come because that prayer was birthed by the Spirit. It was not something I was doing out of flesh. Hallelujah. The last of the words that God gave, he said, warn my people not to partake of unrighteous ceremonies. Hallelujah. Warn my people not to partake of unrighteous ceremonies. Then he said, glass doors, they open. They open wide. Enter the glass doors. There are opportunities that are going to open up in your life in this season and they are transparent. They are clear. Those are the doors God is talking about. He continues to say a huge blow to the enemy's plans and that brings us to the last part of the prophetic word that i had in store for you in this day god bless you god keep you it's a time of prayer it's a time of intimacy with the lord you are going to be seeing a lot of prayer from now going forward in our ministration because the lord is establishing his word over your life as we have entered a time of manifestation God bless you and God keep you. Share this word with as many people as possible that they may also partake of the blessings and the coverings of the Lord and they may also know uh, the word of warning in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.